So this is how I uh, printed a, a D20 uh, with my uh, Pia Poly Moai. As you can see, I uh, added drain holes in the Zura 3D. And you see I generated supports. I set that to four. It's a lot denser. I've had a couple failures with this particular print. I prefer to use the square base. I think it holds a lot stronger. So let's uh, go through a layer by layer view. Here I am starting the print. Now the print's finished. So I let it sit there to drain for a few minutes. Okay, let's try the vodka. Texas vodka, 40% alcohol by volume. I'll pour one out for my homies. Don't worry, this is the most I've used. Prying the parts off. Washing my spatula. Attempting to rinse out uh, the part. Didn't work, huh? Yeah, it will. So I decided to drain that out and pour 99% isopropyl and I added a little bit of distilled water. Try some rinsing some more. More rinsing and more rinsing. Feeling for uh, stickiness until it's dry enough to cure. You put it in the cure box, a good 15 minutes per side. Glows under uh, intense UV. As you can see, it kind of dulled as it cured. Uh, I took the support off and filed the uh, edges. You can see I uh, took a sharpie and added uh, some color to the numbers. When I tried to wipe it off with uh, isopropyl alcohol, it kind of discolored the clear part uh, a shade of blue, but the numbers show up a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't, it rolls kind of easily. From my testing, I, I noticed that it isn't balanced. This is a good experiment. Thanks for watching.